The Golden State Warriors wrapped up their 2022 NBA draft in the second round with the number 55 overall selection. After drafting Patrick Baldwin Jr. in the first round and adding Ryan Rollins at number 44 overall, the Warriors went international with their second pick in the second round. Bob Myers and Steve Kerr brought in Guy Santos out of Brazil with the number 55 overall pick. He may have had the lowest profile out of the three draft picks of Golden State, but Brazilian Guy Santos demonstrated extraordinary gameplay in his first outing for his new team. All eyes, including Finals MVP Stephen Curry's, were on Golden State's 55th pick in the draft during Summer League. Today's video will be about Guy Santos and why he was a great pickup for the Warriors. Before we go any further, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more exciting NBA content. Let's keep rolling! The Warriors must possess the most brilliant scouts the NBA has ever seen. They have won as many championships in the last decade as every other team combined, so they certainly know what a championship player looks like. The dub signed players like Patrick and Ryan, while the rest of the league sat there and let it happen. Not only did they draft the most skilled player on the floor for the California Classic debut, a game in which Keegan Murray, who was drafted in the first round, also played. Everybody was shocked to watch Santos play, and he met all the expectations. He was impressive on the court and even got double teamed in his summer league debut. Guy Santos is originally from Brazil, a country that loves soccer. He is a 6 foot 8 inch tall athlete with a 7 foot 1 inch wingspan and most definitely suited for basketball. Guy's father was also a professional basketball player in the Brazilian National Basketball League, the NBB. Initially, Santos played professional basketball for the Minas, a Brazilian basketball club in the 2018 to 2019 season. Considering the fact that he just turned 20 this past June, he was only 16 when he started his professional career. His skill set is almost the same as Luka Doncic. Santos led Brazil to a gold medal in the FIBA Under-17 Championships, dropping 27 points in the finals against Argentina. At that point, he was averaging 8 points, 5 rebounds, and 1.5 assists in 20 minutes for Mina off the bench. Santos created a big hype before the 2021 draft, but he did not get much shine on the courts. Scouts from the previous season were not sold on his game, so he went back to play another year in Brazil. This decision turned out well as he improved in every aspect of his game and his last season with the Minas. He averaged 10.5 points, 5 rebounds, and 2.2 assists in 25 minutes per game starting in 23 of 42 games. Later, he made the national team in 2022. Brazil is a very populous country with 212 million people. Being a starter on the national team at this age is an incredible accomplishment. The ex-assistant coach of the Warriors and the current assistant coach of the Sacramento Kings, Leandro Barbosa, is also a Brazilian. He was included in the front office when they selected Guy Santos. Their idea was to stash him overseas and monitor his development as a project. A pick that late in the draft can only mean that either you signed a gem for your team or they will just end up in the G League and won't progress much. The Golden State Warriors are great at developing young players below their core of Stephen Curry, Klay Thompson, and Draymond Green, and they have a great eye for talent as well. Guy excels at attacking the basket on offense as one of his primary ways of scoring and has the potential to be a very good playmaker. He always plays with high energy and it translates on the defensive side. He is capable of guarding multiple positions and never proved as a liability on that side of the floor. He could be a great wing defender in the future with his 7 foot 1 inch wingspan, along with his sturdy frame. The scouts seem pretty sure of his control and patience while he plays on the offensive end. Santos isn't the most explosive guy off the dribble or the quickest, but his control when he went on the offensive end was outstanding. The pick and roll is a great option for Santos as he has a pretty good game playing off screens, but at times he over dribbles when not needed. When he is patient, he can be a very good playmaker and can make quality passes to set up his teammates. He may prove to be a valuable asset for the Warriors as they have a lot of off-ball movement and Santos could thrive in this environment, dishing passes to cutters. Also, penetrating the paint until the defense collapses and then having shooters kick out will be huge for his game. The transition game is a great area for Santos because he can stay balanced and controlled in the air. He is great at getting the ball and pushing up the floor to get easy scoring options or setting up his teammates. 
He will have to work on his shooting and should start doing it consistently, as he only shot 32% from the three-point line in his last season. He does have pretty good mechanics and his layup is perfect, but he needs to increase his three-point shooting, so in the future, he may create spaces on the floor and take shots effectively. Guy Santos is very smooth and reaches quickly to the basket and scores with a soft touch around the rim. Having a 6-foot 8-inch slasher is very valuable on a team that has the floor space because of the three-point shooting threats. Santos is a terrific pick for the Warriors and will help them in all areas on the court. He needs to work on his shooting more consistently and needs to stop over dribbling so that he can enhance his playmaking ability. This way, he can become a complete offensive package. He has a good base to start, especially in this warrior system. With the frame, height, and athleticism he possesses, he will stun a lot of players in the NBA. The Warriors will surely develop him into a great slasher with a good passing ability. They also need to improve him defensively to bring more value to the team. Guy proved himself in the Summer League that he can be a good prospect for the Warriors in the near future. Santos may improve his skills by playing alongside Klay Thompson to create more spaces, and Draymond Green might help him with his passing ability. He is already a great slasher, and with his pick, Golden State has shown that they are planning their future. He is developing his game, and everybody will be surprised when he gets on the floor. Guy Santos is a complete player, but needs to work on his three-point shot. If he learns from the three-point kings such as Stephen Curry and Klay Thompson, he will improve a lot in the future. During his Summer League debut, he did miss some open shots and made only one out of four attempts he took from the three-point line. On the other hand, Keegan Murray dropped bombs from deep and outperformed the other team. Santos was only able to match that intensity briefly. It is the only negative side of his game, which is still not that bad because he not only helps the team on the offensive end of the floor, but he is very good on the defensive end. Usually, we don't get to see a guy with that type of advanced game on the offense being able to get a chase down block the other way. He puts out great effort on that end of the floor as well, and with his size and length, he will be an excellent defender who can guard one through four. The Dubs suffered injuries and bad luck for years, costing multiple championships to the Warriors team, but now their luck certainly seems to have changed with these new signings that are gracing the floor with their capabilities. Golden State is about to run this league for a very long time to come. And what do you guys think? Will Guy Santos improve his three-point percentage by playing alongside Stephen Curry? Do you think that he will open games for Golden State next season? I would love to hear your opinion, so please let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, and do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing NBA content. We'll see you in the next video!